you do there? It's my light. Okay, I'm gonna wait a few minutes here before I start this video. Let's pull this closer. Hi, Mary. Hi, Maria. Mm, Maria, Deborah. I'm not sure how to say your name. Sorry if I said it wrong. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I'm going to try to do a quick post on chapter three of my book, but I'm not sure how fast it will go. My husband is outside in his recording studio recording for an audition. So we were on our way to the store. He says, wait, let me do the audition first. So I said, okay, I'm going to do live broadcasts. So here goes. I am pretty thirsty. I probably should have drank first. And when I'm all done, I might do a cue post. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so this is chapter three in the life and death cycle. Have any of you read my book yet? I put it out there to a whole bunch of people and nobody gave me any feedback. So it's like, oh God, I hope they like my book. It's I hope it's not that some of the people I gave it to um, to endorse that before it was edited and I went back and read it and it's like, oh my gosh, no wonder I didn't get any feedback yet. It is so, I write, I cannot spell. I do not do grammar, punctuation, and spelling very good. That's why I hire somebody to do it for me because I'm pretty lousy. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go over chapter three um, in the new book and here it is. And I think I have. Ugh, I think I have it mirrored backward in my camera. Sorry. Yuck. Okay, life, the life and death cycle. And this is the whole revelation. The chapter I did before, and the cha this chapter is the whole revelation that has changed my life into feeling peace when there's stressful situation. And, to, and this, along with two other chapters, are life-changing for me. So, in the cycle of all trees, there is a seed. The whole reason for a tree is to reproduce and have seed to have fruit. Okay? So it's a reproduction of the seed that is in the fruit. And within the seed is the DNA, the whole cycle, okay? Our DNA holds our family history and everything that we possibly could become good, bad, and ugly, every traumatic experience, uh, the DNA from our ancestors that has our traumatic experience and trauma and so on passed down. Uh, uh, you might be able to play an instrument because it's in your history. They have a DNA passed down about history. Well, diseases also have are in our dna but i'm going to talk about that and how the blood applies to that and later on so this dna is passed down in the seed from generation to generation just like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that produced death that we ate from in the garden okay so when adam and eve ate the forbidden fruit they ate get this they ate the seed that reproduced the seed in all humanity Okay, in the tree was the fruit, and in the fruit was the seed. And what's the purpose of the fruit and the seed? To produce more fruit and more seed. So that's why Satan wanted us to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Because we're eating from the knowledge that is available now at whichever time we're in. And that knowledge is always changing. Okay, so we're relying on our own information, our own research to, uh, instead of God. Okay. So, inside the Adam and Eve forbidden fruit which they ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, evil which produced death instead of the tree of life, they reproduced in themselves and in everybody after Adam and Eve, they reproduced the seed of death. Okay? Um, God called it the tree of the knowledge of good and evil which results in death. I call it the tree of death because there are two trees in the garden, the tree of death and the tree of life. Okay? Uh, now, that became the death cycle, okay? The death cycle. The fruit of the tree was death, okay? In other words, eating from the tree of death produced death fruit. So the life cycle on the earth is actually the death cycle, okay? All humans are born under the death cycle, okay? All animals, all plants, everything on this earth and everything that was under our authority and our dominion has been has come under the death cycle, okay? Because they Adam and Eve ate the seed. Now, 
There's a study done by Rachel Y-E-H-U-D-A about how trauma is passed down from the bloodline. And if you go to my website, I'll put the link here again. You can get that. I don't think you can copy it off of here, but you can get that information how trauma is passed down. That's why people who are afraid of snakes or who are afraid of spiders, there's a reason. Most likely something happened to someone in their ancestor that it was passed down, that trauma was passed down. Okay, so I have little hearts in my book, which is really revelations that's really important. And this one says, the law of death, understanding that we have accepted the death cycle as normal may be the most important revelation that you can get. There's a few others in my book that I'm going to share about later on. But today, we're talking about the death cycle, how we've come to accept the death, death cycle as normal. Listen to Genesis 129. I have given you every seed, I, I've given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth, all of the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it shall be for food. See, food, it, everything that we eat produces seed. Okay, Genesis 2.17 says, The tree of death yielded uh, death. Okay, wait, let me. The tree of death yields death in its fruit, which produces the fruit of death. And in Genesis 2.17 it says, Every tree you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it you shall die. Okay, because you're eating the fruit that has the seed in it. Okay, so eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil created the death cycle. And many, 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 many people, including me, not no more though, used to think that everything on earth was normal. That you live, you know, they say, oh, you have to do two things, pay taxes and die. Hey, you're not going to have to pay taxes soon when Trump gets done draining the swamp. IRS is going to be gone. Just a quick secret there. Okay, so. It's going to take a while. So let's not get on cue right now because it's, I got to stay on this subject here. <laughs> okay. Um, so in the beginning, the creation was made for us. Okay. If you go over and uh, later on in the book in different places, I might even in this chapter, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think it might go over all the things that God created for us and he created man and he put man on the earth and he says, have dominion, take authority, have dominion. Take authority. Okay, multiply. Okay, multiply. Okay, not multiply because we ate from the tree of death, but multiply before we ate from the tree of death. We were never supposed to eat from the tree of death. So everything was created for us. And now because Adam and Eve ate from the tree of death, now everything that was created for us is now working against us. Okay, is now a curse against us. And that's really important. So we are now under creation instead of being above creation and have authority and dominion over it now as a christian that changes but if you don't know that and if you don't take that authority it doesn't change for you excuse me so everything that was produced uh is subject to that death cycle that's why we have uh the seasons where things have to die and where there's um, anyway okay now instead of creation working for us by taking the seat in us through death, eating that fruit of death, we came under the creation which produced death. Because the seed of death is in us, death is drawn to us. I once did an experiment. You can look on my uh, YouTube. Call, it's called um, it's called uh, the something with the rice experiment with a twist. And you can go there and check out that experiment, and that showed that words create your reality, and uh. The one rice turned black and I asked God, why did it turn rice black? That was a rice that was ignored. And it says, because everything that isn't having speaking blessing over it, speaking life over it, navigates toward death. So if you are not speaking life over the current situation or over your children, over your animals or over your garden, it's going to draw to it and produce in it death. Okay. The best way to explain what I mean by the death cycle is to take a look at what we call normal. Let's look at what's happening right now, okay? For example, you sneeze on a person, people think, ah, you got the coronavirus, or you got a cold, or you got sickness, okay? Then you think, okay, then a week later you get sickness or whatever, 
and the sickness runs its course and maybe you get you get healed or you, there's, a, there's a certain process of normal time when you get healed or you break a bone and it takes six weeks to you get healed okay that's what people accept as normal okay that is still the death cycle okay what we think is normal is the death cycle for example it takes six weeks to heal a bone well that's the death cycle if you break a bone it should heal instantly and these are things that we have to wake up to and we have to work toward it's not automatic it's it's according to what you believe did you notice that when you're religious the stuff that you're taught that you believe you have and then when you start walking in faith and calling things you begin to have that then when you start walking in the supernatural and start believing that and growing in that you have that so you have what you believe so okay so that's kind of explaining it here's a list of things that you might accept as normal getting a cult with symptoms aging eyes your mind and your bones aging getting flu and flu season or cold season getting sick and the diseases passing down through your family history having bugs and weeds in your garden your kids being having the terrible twos the terrible threes the rebellious normal oh it's teenagers it's rebellion it's normal for teenagers to be rebellion that is accepting the death cycle okay uh, another thing very important not being able to learn a new skill and having to spend hours learning it okay Adam I mean um, Noah built the boat with no skill the skill was dropped into his heart the people all through the Bible people are creating temples who don't know how to do the jewelry who don't know how to do the craftsmanship and the, the curtains and everything else the the knowledge is dropped into their spirit they can instantly get it okay so we have come to accept that if we want to learn a skill that we have to spend hours we have to earn it by exercising by learning that skill by learning it we have to earn it but I don't think so I think that we can get better at things and learn new things by believing God for them like on earth it is like in heaven I mean in heaven if they want to learn how to snow ski do they have to take six months to and lessons every single day to learn how unless they enjoy taking a lesson you know so we accept bad weather as normal we accept catching what's going around we accept bad economy as weather we accept um all the curses in deuteronomy 29 those are the death curses that came on the earth that we accept them as normal go read them okay god did not put the death curses did not put those curses on them they came because of the fruit that was produced when we ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now um, in uh, 1st Corinthians eleven twenty five, we have life in us and if you look up the word life in the Strong's Concordance it says the absolute fullness of life a active and vigorous life that's pretty exciting okay the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes us free from the law of sin and death that is so important and that's something I'm going to go over later on in one of the other chapters that is life-changing that is one of my cling to in fear uh, when I'm in fear that is one of the scriptures I cling to is that scripture the spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes me free from the law of sin and death the law of sin and death is the devil con convicting you that you are not convicting the devil condemning you that you you um, went out in the cold you were sweating and you were outside and someone sneezed on you therefore you deserve to have a cold that is the law of sin and death you sin so you die okay your sin can be as innocent as as somebody sneezing on you you deserve to have a cold because the death cycle what we call normal is someone sneezes on you you get a cold okay so just get a hold of that that's so uh, so eye-opening and life-changing um god didn't create the curse or put the curse on you the curse was the fruit of the tree of knowledge and its harvest inside of you okay after you after they ate from the tree of death this the the god seed in them no longer produced life in them but they had to sweat to survive and get their own knowledge in the death cycle you are the one that provides all the answers okay not god you become your own God your own provider educator and protector you are the source of everything but when you eat from the tree of life it changes things so from the tree of knowledge of good and evil worldly knowledge it produces death instead of life a man now became the slave to things that were his slave he was taken from the ground and he was told to rule over it. instead he is now 
lives by tilling the ground and working the ground from which he was taken from. Okay. Another way we got used to accepting things as normal, um, that shouldn't be normal, is um, when we get sick, we're healed from the knowledge of good evil fruit. By this, I mean we take medicine. For example, now I'm not telling you not to go to the doctor, and I'm not telling you not to take medicine, okay? I don't want to be sued. Like I always say with other things, do your own research, okay? But for example, when you have the flu, you go and you take flu medicine, okay? That's the knowledge that we have right now. Okay, for example, like with this coronavirus, a lot of people who do not know when they come up with inoculation uh, and people are, are told, oh, take this inoculation, which I hope it doesn't get that far, and you'll know what I mean if you follow Q. Um, if you take this inoculation, you won't get the flu or you won't go get coronavirus, okay? So the knowledge that they had at the time was that this particular thing was the flu or whatever, and they give you a shot, your body fights it, and then you don't get it, okay? So we're taking, accepting as normal, what we know right now as truth, or think they know as truth, or they're passing off as truth, and we take that knowledge, and that's the knowledge that we use to live our life. Well, that's knowledge from good, evil, because that means that there's good fruit and there's evil fruit. So you take this shot, and you have the side effects. You take this surgery, you have the side effects. You take this medicine, you have a side effect, okay? Because it's knowledge from the good evil fruit. Even right now, like I do a keto diet and uh, intermittent fasting once in a while, okay? That's knowledge that we have right now. Now, in 20 years from now, we might discover something that is better than that. So, in a sense, I'm eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil of what is available today in knowledge, using that knowledge to help my body heal, to help my body be he healthy. But that doesn't mean that it is uh, the life of God. So what I have to do when I do that is I have to take communion because communion is the only thing in the whole world that exists that is not contaminated by the death cycle. So when I eat, I pray before I eat because what I'm eating is coming from the knowledge of good and evil. I am learned man has done studies and discovered certain food is good to eat. So I believe it and I eat it. But I pray over my food and this is about what I say. I say, Father, thank you for the sacrifice laid down for this apple. Thank you, Jesus, for your sacrifice laid down so that this apple would be a blessing to my body when I eat it. There's going to be no death in it. When I eat this apple, I bless it to my body because of your sacrifice. It's going to give me nutrition and life, and it's going to supply what my body needs right now. Okay? So, that's how I use the knowledge from the tree of good and evil. When I eat, I pray that. I pray in the morning that the air that I breathe, that the frequencies that are coming from me, that are coming at me um, do not bring death to me in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so that's knowledge. Knowledge on the earth changes, but the fruit from the tree of life doesn't change. Communion doesn't change. So I'm saying, listen to your doctor, but when you do, take it like you take communion. Father, when I take this medicine, this is a little light, when I take this medicine, it will bring life to my body. It will not hurt me. It will not have the side effects that they say it'll take. I would rather not take this medicine, but at this point in my life, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to take this medicine, and I'm going to believe and bless this medicine to my body that it will not hurt me or damage me in any way, shape, or form. But it will be a blessing to my body, and I will receive what my body needs from it. So that's how, if you have to take medicine, that's how you take medicine. That's how you eat. Now, here's some things that was lost that is now restored. Uh, we lost dominion through the knowledge of our identity. In other words, because we don't know who we are in Christ, one of the things that we lost is our identity. We don't know that we're in Christ, that we're a son of God. We think that we are just a human being on this earth, 
uh, subject to everything that happens, subject to tornadoes, subject to war, subject to famine, that we're just subject to it and that's it. What happens, happens. That's one of the things that I hate people say. I hate that people say. So one of the things we lost is our identity. We don't know if we're a man or a woman. We don't know if we're black or we don't know if we're white. We don't know if we're, um, if we're heterosexual or homosexual. Satan has stole our identity, the very core of who we are. And who we are is God's kids. We also lost fruitfulness. We have, we have an exchange of harvest. Okay, so now our harvest is from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil instead of the knowledge from instead of, instead of coming from the tree of life. Instead, we are fearful. Uh, this is how I see myself. I am a life-giving spirit. That's what God says I am. As a Born again, spirit filled child of God, I'm a life giving spirit. So I see a bubble around me coming from the inside of me out, uh, producing life so that I don't get sicknesses and diseases from somebody else. They don't give me their death cycle. I give them life. I produce life because the life of God is in me. I'm a life giving spirit. I talk to my plants, I talk to the seeds, I talk to my animals, I talk to everything. Be not because I'm crazy, I'm not crazy, but because death and life is in the power of the tongue. Okay, we lost knowledge. Or we lost, uh, and you know, I have a list here and that's what I'm going over. Uh, we lost knowledge. We're limited by knowledge. And uh, Trump has said that when all this stuff goes down, that there's going to be a release of energy, uh, a release of new energy sources and stuff like that that has been hidden uh, from the the government and and so those things are going to come to light but we have lost knowledge and i believe that some of this is going to come out it's just going to have a whole new world soon um our spiritual senses were turned off uh angels were normal they knocked on doors they interacted with people uh it was so much normal that when rhonda or rhoda whatever her name is answered the door and 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 um, they th are not. They thought that the angel at the door was Paul's angels because some of our angels look like us. They thought it was Paul's angel instead of Paul. She didn't go back and she's, oh, everybody, there's an angel, there's an angel at the door. Oh my goodness. She said uh, she went back thinking it was Paul's angel. She didn't even get excited because it was so normal. So our spiritual senses have been shut off and uh, we can hear, see, feel, taste, and smell in the spirit realm. And um, there's all kinds of stuff about frequencies out there, good and bad. Okay, lost fellowship with God. Um, we lost fellowship with God when we ate the full fall, you know, when we ate from the fruit of the tree and it passed down to men. But when you're born again, he, Jesus came to show us the Father. Jesus didn't come to show us God, someone high up there in the distance, but to show us the Father, somebody who we could have a relationship and fellowship with. And you can't have a relationship with somebody that is not there. In other words, you can't have a relationship. Um, a relationship is a two-way street. Okay, We lost prosperity in everything we do. We lost authority and power to subdue, subdue everything that's not on heaven, that is not like in heaven like it is on earth. We lost fruitfulness, the power to multiply. We lost how to use seeds even. We lost peace. Rather, we fear punishment from God rather than knowing that God is the God of peace and the God of love. Instead, we fear punishment. Oh, God's going to get me for this or God's going to send me to Africa. Our spiritual body was covered with our physical body. Now our physical body is covering our spiritual body. Our body and our emotions are now in control, not our spirit. So when our bodies and our emotions, the world is ruled by emotions. If you look at all the commercial, if you look at all the stuff happening right now, uh, all the hype, the lies, and the deception of what's really going on, um, it's all controlled by emotions. And the people, the elite, the people in control and that control the media have turned and used the emotions against us. And so we're no longer ruled by our spirit, but instead we're ruled by our emotions and by our physical body. Oh, I feel pain here, therefore I must have this disease. Okay. And Pain is multiplied in our seed and in childbirth. That was not normal. That was not. That's the death and life. That's the death cycle, not life cycle. If you look at the seven days of creation, look at what we lost. Light turned to darkness. 
there was the water and the heaven. We no longer have access to heaven on earth. We have when we're not born again. Now we do though. Um, the earth brings forth seed and it's corrupt. Uh, light and night. Night is we have seasons and days and cycles and and we're subject to them instead of making them subject to us. The creation in the water, the birds in the air. We now have they have a fear of us in them. Before we had relationship with them, that's why God brought the animals to Adam and Eve, and He named them because they were He was looking for somebody to be His partner. Earth brings forth living creatures, cattle, creeping things, the beasts of the earth. They're all now not in the place that they should have been with us. And man's image and likeness and, and their dominion over all these things are changed. We are no longer at rest. We're at peace. We're not at peace. We're fearful, and the result is pain in bringing forth seed. We were to subdue and have dominion over things. Instead, they rule over us, water, plants, animals, nature, moon, sun, time, seasons, oceans, water, death, all rule over us. The loss of fellowship with God, heaven, and the supernatural realm, wrong wisdom and self-care. Those are all the things that, that is the result of that death cycle. Now, you have to remember, Jesus is the new seed. Being born from above is receiving Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He's uncorruptible seed the seed of life and we have the capability to draw life into our physical body into our spiritual body where there is death we can bring life jesus was called the seed that fell to the ground in order to produce much seed and fruit so he didn't die and fall to the ground to produce people who live under the death cycle and who submit to the death cycle but he wants you to raise up and be a life-giving spirit you change the seed inside of you when you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior okay so in this book I'm going to show you several different ways that you're no longer under the death cycle and once you have that knowledge and grow in the revelation your life is going to be changed so we are called trees of righteousness in Psalms 1 3 52 8 72 7 Proverbs 11 28 and more the trees produce seeds and fruit. The fruit has a harvest, okay? So the fruit eaten from the tree of death puts you in a death cycle, but eating from the tree of life produces life in you and makes you a life-giving spirit. So that is the end of chapter 3, and next is chapter 4, and it's Jesus, the incorruptible seed, the DNA of God. And so, excuse me, I am going to go to the store and get a few things in just a few minutes, and I just wanted to do that for you, so... Here comes my commercial. First of all, if this has been a blessing to you, please share it on your social media sites and in your groups. And remember, the seed of life comes from taking communion because the seed of life is in you. Jesus is in you. But he said, if you drink my blood and eat my flesh, you will have life in you. Do you need life today? Are you fearful because of the coronavirus? Are you sick because of the coronavirus or something else? Are you on in the death cycle? Are you afraid because of the economics going on the the being stuck at home take communion take the life cycle download my book right now i'm i'm giving it away free as a pdf form on my website robinbremer.net just click on free books and you can get this book free and download it hey and do me a favor if you like it give me a review you don't have to i'm not i'm not um i'm planting seeds i'm not asking you to give me a review it would be nice if you did but you don't have to also if you go to that site and press on the the menu of free books you'll also see my information where you can do your own research about q and download that uh, paper and spread that around so um i have free books uh until this coronavirus thing is over i'm giving away free books every day if i'm not giving them away on my website i'll be giving them away as a, a kindle kdp select book if you belong to that and now if you are an author, now is the time to get your book out. People are sitting at home with nothing to do. They need to read your book. That gives them life. Okay. Gives them life. So publish your book. And what I do is for only $399, I take your manuscript and I format it. I create a professional book cover for it. I get your ISBN. I open your account on Amazon. I open your account. I upload all information. I create everything for you. I publish your book as a Kindle book. I publish your book as a print book. And then 
it's all yours you or you don't have to order anything you just get on amazon and order your books when you want it as many as you want you usually pay for your own book about two dollars and fifty cents somewhere around there and uh you can give them away or you can take them when you do speeches or something or preach in the church so if you have something in your heart or you're halfway done god really really pushed me to get this book done it's not really done this is done, but I have a couple more chapters that God's been teaching me and working on me. So this is going to have an expanded edition. Probably, I don't know if it'll be a couple, probably a couple months. Eventually it will have an expanded edition and more information. But for now, this is what God told me to get out there, get it published because it is life changing. If you can get a hold of the revelation that I'm teaching in here about uh, the life and death cycle, your life will be changed. And also about your how your conscious, conscious, consciousness creates life and death in you. That's another chapter. I can't wait to go over that. I have like four favorite chapters in here that changed my life. Uh, so anyway, so I charge three hundred ninety nine dollars to to publish your book to make it into a Kindle, a professional Kindle, and uh, a professional print book. So. God said to always pray. So, Father, I just pray that they would get the revelation of the supernatural transforming power of communion, that they would receive health, life, abundance, and prosperity, that they would have fullness of life, and they would have a revelation of the life and death cycle. And, Father, I pray right now for peace for everybody who is freaking out and thinking that this is the end of the world, that they are going to have to get uh, forced inoculation and get the chip and... and all bad stuff's going to happen. Father, just open their eyes to the truth of what is really going on behind the scenes and just help them to open up their eyes and to get excited about what's really happening and how we're going to be set free and how the children are set free. So I will talk to you later. Have a blessed day. And remember to share this with your social media sites. Bye.